Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning to you. It is Friday, July 3rd. I'm Kelly Byrne. Our Sammy Squires joins us now with the latest on the forecast. What should we expect today? Good morning, Kelly. As the day goes on, we'll hit a high of 90 degrees. It's going to be a warm day, hot and humid. We could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm late in the afternoon. Going into tonight, we'll have partly cloudy skies. It'll be another warm and muggy night, but not as bad as it was last night as lows go down to the mid 60s. For your 4th of July forecast, we'll start off the day in the 80s by 1 p.m. We could see an isolated shower around 3 to 5, but for fireworks later on in the night, it's going to be an awesome night as we will have partly cloudy skies and lows will head back into the 70s overnight. Looking like a great weekend forecast, Kelly. Yeah, sounds pretty good. All right, Sammy, thanks for the update. Now, turning to the latest on the coronavirus in the Commonwealth, today marks the first day all counties in Pennsylvania are in the green phase. Lebanon County is the final one to change. The State Department of Health announced more than 800 new cases of COVID-19 on Thursday. The total number of cases stands at more than 88,000. The death toll rose to 6,712. Now, Governor Tom Wolf also issued a travel quarantine for people traveling to an area where the case counts are climbing. He lists 15 states where Pennsylvanians must quarantine for two weeks upon returning. And we have that full list over on our website, pahomepage.com. COVID-19 strikes Hazleton police again. Four officers in the department of 40 tested positive for COVID-19 back in April, but they have since returned. And now three additional officers have contracted the coronavirus. The three officers are quarantined at home with mild symptoms, and it will be nearly a week before they're able to be back in the field. The department is now disinfecting the buildings and vehicles before and after each shift, and they plan to add six additional officers to their department. Remember, if you'd like more news or weather, just go to our website, again, pahomepage.com.